I think, well, I know my takeaway from this lesson was something that in some ways is very obvious, but I think it bears restating. I think it's critical that students are allowed to struggle within an appropriate context and with support. So not meaningless flailing about intellectually, but the kind of struggling where they express the wrong answer, they articulate the wrong answer, the teacher asks a directed question, and they have that experience of cognitive dissonance where they realize they have the incorrect answer and they may or may not know how to fix it. But I think, again, within appropriate structure, it's really important to step back and let them do that. And it's hard to do. The teacher instinct, especially for those of us perhaps who've been teaching for a while, is to correct them because that's the way it used to be done. But in the student clip, for example, of the child who I believe it was said it was six groups of five instead of five groups of six, it, it's imperative that she was allowed to figure it out herself because that's what's going to cement the learning. So my, my takeaway or my suggestion for this lesson is let them struggle, focus on the articulation, redirect them, but don't lead them. Have them express their idea again and have them find their own mistakes. Okay, thanks.